It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of uh, what happens when you combine a little magic with a little comedy? Uh, you're gonna get some laughs, and we got a guy that'll give them to you right now, John Ferentino. Mr. John Ferentino. The big enchilada, John Ferentino! John Ferentino! John Ferentino. John Ferentino. Welcome, John. My name is John Virginia. Like I said, I do comedy, I do magic, and if you don't find funny, that'll be the magic part. <laughs> I'm going to start off, I'm going to do a magic trick, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. Start off like this, you take a little red handkerchief, you shake this around a couple of times. You want to do this too many times, I think the reason is pretty apparent. <laughs> the handkerchief goes in your hand once, twice, three times, four times, five times, a whole bunch of times. We push it deep down inside there like this. We wave our hand over the top. This becomes an egg. This little handkerchief appears here in your pockets. Mm -hmm. It's a very cool trick till I teach you how it works, then you're gonna go, hey, that's crap. <laughs> it's a fake egg and there's two handkerchiefs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up, it fooled you the first time. Here's what you do, you go to the store, you buy two handkerchiefs, make sure that they are the same color. <laughs> then you go buy a plastic little rubber egg like this. You take one of the handkerchiefs, this is the other one, you fold it up, or crumble it up, and stick it in your pocket. Then you take the egg, and you take the handkerchief and you place it inside. Note to self, do not do this in front of the person you're going to show the trick to. <laughs> okay, so that's your basic setup, it's like an egg with a little tail, that goes in your hand, tail goes in your fingers, hand goes in your pocket. Then you wander around saying, who wants to see a magic trick? Because generally people that don't know you don't come up to you and go, excuse me, do you do anything with an egg? <laughs> you transfer the egg, you pull out the handkerchief, and you shake the handkerchief. Shaking the handkerchief does one of two things. One, it looks kind of magic-y. But the main reason why we do it is to keep everybody's eyes off the deformed hand. <laughs> now you take the handkerchief and it looks like you're placing it in your hand. You push in there once, twice, three times, four times, five times, a whole bunch of times. We know it's not really going into the hand. Where is it going? Into the egg. Make sure the whole face is up. You go back into the pocket. Now you take out the other handkerchief. Then you show the egg. Always keep your hand over the red spot. Otherwise, it's not a trick. Occasionally, some of the audience will notice the red spot, they'll always yell out, hey, what's at the red spot? Somebody yell it out, I'll show you what to do. It's nothing. <laughs> That's what I do, it may not work for you. But you gotta do that point, you gotta take the red spot, and you have to peel it off the egg like this. Then you have to reach out and take out a glass and take the egg. A lot of the containers come out a lot of flash, flare, and color. That's the actual one, and here it is. Thank you. <laughs> oh, watch, watch. <laughs> My impression of every person I saw on the beach today. Two in the front, two in the wing, two in the aft. 
I've seen pictures of plane crashes. Oh, there's gonna be plenty of accidents. <laughs> make this announcement supposed to make you feel safe. It doesn't work. Next time you get a total stranger in your car, try making this announcement. Any unlikely event, you should be heard aloud in this car at 60 miles an hour. The bottom of your floor mat may be used as a sled. <laughs> and hit a bump, rip the dome light off the roof, shove it on their face, tell them to breathe naturally. Here's the other thing you do on the plane. You wait till the guy next to you falls asleep. Then you reach up in the seat and you put on the life jacket. <laughs> then you wake him up. You get the hell out of here, apparently you haven't heard. You guys like impressions? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't do any. I said you do one impression, quick scene from every horror movie you've ever seen. <laughs> now we have the DJ. Now, if anything can sing in my head is really stupid, think about the possibilities of owning this. <laughs> Stick it in your head, get in your car, get on the interstate. <laughs> Drive as fast as you can. When the cops pull you over, roll down the window and go. Oh, the boy had a lousy day. <laughs> You got nothing to do, two o'clock in the morning, stick in your head, go hang out in the hospital emergency room. <laughs> Just watch everybody else walk in. <laughs> Anybody who looks at you weird becoming New Yorker, walk up to the head nurse and go, hey, 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 how long am I supposed to wait here? <laughs> With that guy's are fractured ankles, are going, oh. <laughs> Summertime so I'm in Long Island, I got nothing to do, get in my car, drive till I find the most crowded beach I can. Swim out as far as I can, stick this in my head, and just get washed up on the beach. <laughs>
wand in here. Take the magic wand, wave it around, and say the magic words. And watch works for dealing with the knot. <laughs> And you said that like you actually thought something was going to happen. All right, just wave the hat with it. Take this like this. Right? Right. Wave it with both hands. Both hands. Just go abracadabra. Both hands. Just keep doing that. Count three, you're gonna pull the truck. The trick, trigger. I'm gonna get from Alabama. Trigger. All right, just hold the gun. Not yet. On the count of three, okay? Just hold the gun. I will aim the rope. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Everything you touch falls off, Jim. Make sure you're the right guy because we're going to do a mentalism trick here with you. We're going to do a quick test. What I want you to do is put your left hand out like this. We have here a bag with some different color balls in it. We have a yellow ball, pink ball, blue ball, two of those, one, two pink, two yellow, no other balls. I take one of the yellow ones, one of the pink ones, one of the blue ones. Place them in the bag and they give it a shake. I want you to close your hand around all three balls. Become psychically involved. That was so there, dude. That was good. All right. Drop them in the bag. Now, I'm going to shake up the bag. You're going to reach inside, take it a ball. Then I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to take it a ball. We're going to turn our hands over. Hopefully, the balls will match. Take out a ball. Keep your hand closed. Don't tell me what it is. How much time do I have? <laughs> Just take one. All right. I'm going to take this like this. Bring it out here like this. Open your hand. All right, let's do it again. It could be a coincidence. <laughs> Reach inside, take out another ball. All right, hold it. Your hand in front of you just like this. All right, hold your hand out like this. Oh, they're laughing. They're laughing. They're laughing because they think they're all blue. All right, do it again. Just take another one. All right. Concentrate on the color. All right, here we go. That was pretty good, man. All right, do it again. 
Reach inside, take another ball. Take out another ball, just take a ball. Concentrate on the color. Don't tell me what it is. Oh, man. All right, look, do me a favor, look me right in the eye. Take another ball. Take another ball. <laughs> Got it? I wouldn't want to screw you up. All right. One more time. All right, let's go again. All righty, I think you'll do fine. It's the world's coolest card trick. I call it that because I invented it. I call it, oh, we're not done. Get back here. We have here an ordinary deck of cards, which I've had downsized. All right. Normal deck cards. Okay, it's not a full deck because I never play with a full deck. What I want you to do is just tell me when to stop. stop. Take the card like this. Hold on to it. Put your hand over it just like this. All right? What you're going to do is I want you to look at the card and memorize it. Did you memorize the card already? All right. What I want you to do is return it back to the deck anywhere you want. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. Go ahead. All right. I have a couple of tries here. I could do that. The four of clubs. Oh, jeez. I'm not even going to bother going with that. That was just a joke. All right, actually, I had the card appear on this table inside this wallet. Your card was the three of hearts. Nope. Now, don't show it to me yet. Four of hearts. Nope. Five of hearts. Nope. Six of hearts. Eight of hearts. <laughs> Eight of diamonds. Nine of spades. Four of hearts. <laughs> See anything in there you like. No, huh? No. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because I was so sure that I was going to pick your card. I had a banner printed. I'm going to show everyone what the banner is. And you're going to tell them whether it's right or wrong. The card was the three of spades. No, what was it? Four of spades? Oh, geez, this must be the missing spade. <laughs> All right, let's give a nice big round of applause. My name is John Barrettino. Thank you very much. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, John Barrettino. And now, please.